Hello again. Some viewers might be fortunate enough never to have heard of Dr. Shola Moshog Bamibu, who may be seen in the thumbnail to this video. This ghastly woman is in the habit of making an exhibition of herself, and I think it's fair to say that she is a professional black person, in both senses of the expression. On the one hand, she is a professional woman, a solicitor, who is black, and on the other hand, she has made being black a profession in itself. In modern Britain, this is quite a nice little number, of course, and people beat a path to her door, asking all sorts of questions about the experience of black people. She was born in the London borough of Hackney, but I'm not entirely sure where she is really from. Before I'm accused of inflicting a microaggression on the good doctor, allow me to quote from her website, which I'll give a link in the description to this video. Dr. Shola Moshobamimu is a British-born and Nigerian political and women rights activist. Does this mean that she holds dual nationality? Or does it mean that, that although born in this country, she identifies more as an African than as a British person? I rather think that that is what she means, and that although born in Britain, she regards herself as being Nigerian. She's not a great fan of the British royal family, tweeting on December 15th last year, I hold the royal family in contempt. This is odd, because she boasts openly about her own royal connections, saying on her website that she is the granddaughter of the late Nigerian monarch of Ogare Remo, Oba Alfred Abafuwa Bannington Ashe, Legunson III, the Olegere of Ogere, and the daughter of the late Prince Adebajo Babington Ashe. There's no mention, of course, of the slave owning tradition of this particular royal family, but perhaps she doesn't know about it. She's certainly red hot, though, about slave owning when it comes to white royalty. She glimpsed the candlestick in the background of a photograph of the Queen and claimed that the royal family had racist statues in the house. It was nonsense, of course, and she was forced to delete the tweet. It just happened that the figures were made of black metal. They didn't represent black people or slaves at all. In the description to this video, I give a link to a news item about this. I suppose that this is a problem if you're a professional black person. You're programmed to see racism everywhere and you are always ready to take offence. It is pleasant to see this awful woman forced to retreat in such an abject fashion.